we present to you Evox Oxygen Concentrator. Here's a quick guide on how to use the Evox Oxygen Concentrator and its feature. Always place the oxygen concentrator in an open area with at least one feet circumstance of free space. Let's have a look at the accessories and then we'll move on to the easy installation guides. These are the accessories and installments that come along with the Evox Oxygen Concentrator. Before using the Evox Oxygen Concentrator, make sure you cut through the compressor safety locks. Next up, we'll fill this humidifier bottle. And make sure water does not exceed maximum marking. and then we'll place it here. Once the humidifier has been placed, we'll attach the connecting pipe to the oxygen outlet nozzle. After connecting to the oxygen outlet nozzle, we'll connect the breathing tube to the nozzle on the humidifier. This is the main panel. Now switch on the machine from the on and off button. Once the concentrator starts working, wait for 2 minutes. Then press the oxygen button. So the concentrator reaches the optimum purity level. While the oxygen concentrator operates, you can manage oxygen flow meter and set it as per the prescribed oxygen level. Once that is done, also fix the timer using this button. To adjust the time, press this button. Now the patient can be supplied with the oxygen through this nozzle. The Evox Oxygen Concentrator can be used for nebulization too. For this, we connect the nebulizer mask tube to the nebulizer port. Now add on the nebulization medicine to the nebulizer mask and then press the nebulization button on the concentrator. We also have a special child lock feature in the Evox Concentrator. To activate the child lock, press the timer plus till you hear a beep. Once you do that, there will be a lock popping up on the display screen, which states the lock has been activated. To deactivate the child lock, press the timer minus button till you hear a beep. This is the trip or MCB switch for safety during fluctuation. If you get power failure at the location of use, a red light shall blink on the service required point. Please don't panic, it's a mere indication of the power cut. Now I'll show you the outer filter. This has to be washed once in 2-3 to three days. To the other end, we have the inlet filter. Once the color of the filter changes from white to dark brown or black, it's your clue to replace it. We hope you could find this video helpful.